Hello guys and welcome to The Simpsons 3 Dreams Denied Review and today I'm going to talk about my thoughts on this episode that aired November 22nd, 2020. So 3 Dreams Denied sees, of, of course, you know, it's three, it's three uh, type of plots and of course there's three dreams. One of them being comic book guys uh, dream to get a job at Marvel and move out of Springfield, you know, because he doesn't make a lot of money at his store and, you know, doing something that he likes. Uh, second dream is Lisa uh, meeting the love of her life and the third dream is Bart becoming a voiceover and two of these are nothing to me they, they were just nothing comic book guys is probably the worst one it was just okay comic book guy uh decides to go to comic-con in san diego where if he asks a good question to uh to the panelists uh he he, he can get a job at marvel and of course he goes and then he, he's thinking of all these cool questions to ask right and then once he gets there once he actually gets in line uh he can't figure out what question he's gonna ask so, so he's like, uh, uh, he, 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 he sort of can't figure out what question he's going to ask. So then, so, so then he loses the opportunity to work at Marvel and then he just goes back to Springfield and it just ends. It, 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 it's honestly, I mean, I, I get that the title is Three Dreams Denied, but this just felt like nothing to me. I, I kind of think Three Dreams Denied sort of doesn't work, especially for comic book guys, because it's just, okay, he goes there and then it ends. It, 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 it's mostly nothing to me. Lisa's subplot was somewhat better, but somewhat better, you know, like, okay, she meets the love of her life. Well, she meets someone that she thinks is the love of her life, who ends up just sort of using her, which I mean, I, I, the delivery there is sort of better, because... The delivery there is sort of better, because you have an understanding of, like, oh, how, how it's going to end up, because, you know... Oh, he's a vegetarian too. That's so weird. Like, and and then of course, once he reveals, he's actually evil, and he uses it against Lisa. He sabotages her so he can get the seat, and then that one just ends. I think Bar Bart's subplot was the only good one in my opinion. I liked seeing him. I liked seeing him uh, be a voiceover, and you know, like oh, he 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 makes more than Homer in a month. I thought that was honestly funny. Uh, and then uh, there's also, and then and then he, and then it sort of builds onto it by like, oh, okay, he's a voiceover, but but he ends up voicing a girl, and then everyone laughs at him. But then, but then the girl ends up being a badass, and then Lisa encourages him to be himself, which is honest, which was honestly kind of better because I, I because I, I because you know her her dream was denied, so she encouraged. She encourages Bart to go for his, and you know, I mean, it's after that for him, Bart, it's not so bad. So his dream wasn't really that all that denied it probably was just a one-time thing but you know i mean at least he got to at least do something the other two were denied so that's why i kind of don't understand the title it's called three dreams denied because really only two really only one dream was denied lisa's was not a dream yeah so three dreams denied doesn't really work almost none of the jokes are funny i can probably name maybe one or two that sort of work boy where are you I'm hanging with a stranger. He's got so many different personalities. Oh, will you be home before dark, yes or no? What am I, a magic eight ball? Sounds great. Looks like all of us are living the dream. a voiceover job and the show airs tomorrow? I thought animation took nine months. No, you can do any cartoon in a day. Anyone who takes longer is just trying to bleed the studio dry. And this is what they're paying me. That's baloney. Anybody could fake a check from Warner Brothers Animation. Nah, it's legit. I made more in a minute than you do in a month, fatso. Why, you little- up, up, up. Keep your hands off the money maker. And don't look me in the voice. Don't! And then, and then the episode's pacing and stuff was pretty poor. It kept jumping all over the place. This kind of would have, I think this would have worked better as an, as like a, oh, if they had one first, then they had another, and then they had the last one. Not, not having all, all of them really jump 
back and forth through one place or so because really then it does it, it, it uh, the pacing is sort of kind of off in my opinion uh, yeah so there are no good joke not really any good jokes this episode wasn't it was I, I kind of wanted to sleep watching it it was boring uh, yeah like Ho Ho Homer doesn't really get any lines yeah, yeah I, I honestly don't have anything more to say about this one so three James the night is uh, the Three Days of the Night is another misfire in a series of misfires. Uh, they, uh, there's almost no good jokes. Uh, the, the pacing is really poor. Some of the plots just end up being total nothing. The, 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 like, I get that your dream's supposed to be denied, but there's like zero payoff. It, it it just sort of ends. There's really no payoff for any of the any of the dreams, and I feel like that's due, sort of due to the due to the amount of time that the episodes get but then you you also have to realize that you could they could also reduce one and build more onto the others and make the delivery sort of better so yeah i am not a fan of this one if every uh, other episode of the simpsons is not going to be a good i am definitely not a fan of this season at all last season definitely had better episodes like i i think they held over all the poor ones for this season so we had to sort of well i mean except for iChromis, like all, all the iChromis and podcast news all the other holdovers weren't all that good this one's the first in the news cycle but i mean but I mean, if every other episode that they air in order is not going to be good, like, no, the, like, okay, Trios of Horror was solid, then you have I Promise and Podcast News, which are the top two, and then air, and then you have Undercover Birds, Now Museum, Seven Furious, and now this, and they're all, then they're all very, and they're all pretty blah episodes to me. So yeah, I didn't really like this one. So, and it's a shame, too, because, you know, I started to have more faith in The Simpsons, but now I'm starting to lose interest again. And, you know, I don't want it to be a repeat of the last few years where, like, okay, season 31, I started gaining more interest because I thought the show was improving. And then now I'm going back to starting to lose interest and stop caring about The Simpsons. And I really don't want it to be that way because I love the show with all my heart. So, there you go, guys. That's my thoughts on Three Dreams of the Night. Maybe you liked it more than me. I'm pretty sure most of you liked it more than me. Although, when I did look at other other fan review sites and stuff, they, they, they seemed to hate it even more than I did. So, I mean, I don't think it was bad, but it definitely was not good. So, I want to know what you thought in the comments. And, of course, like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.